I love being an academic advisor. I didn't think that I would. Um, just from the outside looking in, it seems as though you're just telling students what classes to take and then you see them next semester. Um, but what I've learned within this role is that you get to support your student where they're at and kind of help them grow. And supporting them the best way we know how is to encourage them to take 15 credits a semester. Many of our students at John Jay and across CUNY work full time and have families that they need to support. So it's always important working with advisors and financial aid counselors to weigh your, your own situation and the student situation. Um, with that said, it's important for financial aid purposes that students take uh, full time 15 credits per semester or 30 credits per year because some aid does run out within eight terms or four years. So I always encourage my students like, yeah, 12 credits is the minimum for FAFSA and for TAP, but look at it just as that. Then I think advisors have a great opportunity to let students know that, hey, you don't have to do the bare minimum. You can do more and beyond that because you're capable of that. I graduated from Bronx Community College on time thanks to my advisor and thanks to her for pushing me to take 15 credits per semester. The way she encouraged me with that was um, with the academic planning that she did. I think advisors should just take that extra time um, in an advisement appointment with students who say that they want to take um, the bare minimum of the 12 credits. Just get to know them a little bit more if you have the time. Just say, hey, why do you not feel like you can take on that extra class? Um, what is it? Is it your time constraints? Is it scheduling? Maybe talk to them about time management. Also add in the fact that there are tons of different classroom models if the student was interested in taking a class online or maybe at a different campus or take a summer or winter course. Here at John Jay, we offer summer courses, winter courses, um, so it's easy for students to get up to that 30 credit limit. If you have some students who are afraid of taking like a math and a science class together, and maybe that's the reason why they don't want to take 15 credits, let them know like you can balance out a math class with like a history class or something that you're more comfortable with. And even if they don't feel comfortable taking 15 credits the first semester, continue to encourage them. Maybe they can take a class in the intercessions that we have during the winter session or maybe over the summer to build that confidence up and then going into another semester they can start taking those 15. From the student side, I think that they always have the goal of finishing in four years. If students take 12 credits um, or less a semester, some of them can get frustrated or um, even unfortunately feel like they're never going to get done. Um, so being very upfront with students from the jump, I think advisors have that wonderful opportunity to make that connection um, with students because you're going to see them every semester versus like a professor who may not. Sometimes we can't plan exactly what will happen in the future, so a student may need to officially withdraw from a course um, or pick up an, an, um, a course that they may have failed uh, in another year. So it's always important to take at least 15 because it does allow that, that cushion for additional semesters and additional courses if need be. Another thing that I'm really glad I took 15 credits per semester for was that it prepared me mentally because I can juggle so many responsibilities now because of that training that I went to. So I tell students, especially when you're getting ready to go into a very competitive field um, like nursing and applying to different nursing programs, you want to be able to show the people who are looking at your application that not only can you do well in your classes, but you can do well at a multitude of your classes at the same time. So taking 15 credits is what you need to be able to do because when you get into the nursing program, you're going to be taking many classes. I love seeing students who maybe started off taking 12 credits a semester, build that confidence within themselves and add on that extra class and then they're like, I could have done this the whole time. I'm like, yes, I, you could have, but I'm glad that you saw that for yourself. When they when they're walking across that stage at graduation, um, that's it's really a special moment for for those of us. That's what we're all here for to see that that student graduate and go on to their next step.